Hi, my name is Adriana Barnes. I own Adriana Trains Dogs Behavioral Dog Training, and I also own the Zen Rescue, which is a rescue that I give to animal life. The day at the ranch begins at 5 a.m. First of all, of course, we have to have our coffee. <laughs> By 6 o'clock, 6.30, um, we let all the animals out. We play ball with them, we exercise them. Once we know that they've gotten their energy out from being inside, we bring them back in, we feed the animals, we prepare their bowls, and then we move on to the next. Antonio does the horses, and there's a routine for everything to be done by 10 a.m. I met Antonio about 13 years ago. He's my cousin, far away cousin. We never really got to meet each other when I was young. I knew that he was the chosen one to be a part in my right hand side. He's an angel to every animal there is, from the horses to the ducks to the chickens. He is just God's gift to us, to me and the animals. We don't have a lot of resources for the rescue. One man's trash outside their home, it is treasure for us. We can build anything out of that. Wood pellets, uh, wood left over from companies that don't use it and they trash them. For us, that's treasure. We could really build something for the animals with that. Bueno, no reclamo en mi vida. No tengo por qué reclamar. Porque al andar tomado, borracho todos los días, eso es peor de la vida. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? Porque no tienes un futuro. Ahora que los animales me ayudaron a dejar el alcohol, este, realmente me siento reconciliado con la vida porque realmente no puedo por qué renegar. ¿sí? Porque me ha dado reclamar. otra vida, reclamar nada, absolutamente nada. Las vidas de los perros me brindan tanta amistad que no tengo por qué reclamar. Al contrario, si me dan más trabajo, más a gusto me siento hacia ellos. I, at this age in my life, have known and learned a human baby is not born with an alcohol bottle in its hand. And a puppy is not born aggressive or with behavioral problem. And it's the human that applies and does this to them. Yo no golpeé a un animal. ¿Por qué? Porque no se merece un golpe a un animal. ¿Sí? Los animales aman al, al humano como no te imaginas. Y golpear a un animal nunca he estado de acuerdo en eso. ¿Sí? Lo puedes corregir de otra manera, ¿sí? ¿Cómo? Más o menos llevándola por la emoción, por lo que tenga uno hacia ella, ¿sí? Entonces, de esa es la manera que uno puede corregir. It's because of my dad that I'm here, to be honest with you, and persevering so much, because he's the one that taught us. You know, my, my dad, my dad died from Alzheimer's, and even on his last breath, because I try to keep my dad alive, you know, I gave my dad CPR and I can see it in his eyes. So I knew that my dad was ready to go because he knew I was set and ready to take off in my mission and my passion that I was going to do. Three of us women build this little project that we do once a month and we connect with the homeless. We park our van and the van is loaded with dog supplies and human supplies. The dumps here in the United States are probably nicer than where these people live. You know, uh, there's no running water out there. There's no bathrooms, no nothing. If the human does not have water, the animal doesn't have water. Half of these animals die then like that. The humans keep themselves warm with the dogs inside their trailers or their tents. Also, also looks good, actually. Everybody knows Joe. Joe is wonderful and he's homeless. He's always been homeless, but Joe will always be there for another homeless person. He would feed his dogs before he would feed himself. He cares for people and helps for people in the camp. He embraces his animals as if they were his kids. I know that if something were to happen to any of their dogs, they would lose the motivation to keep going. Oh, her dog. Oh. Maybe 
my pub. What's your dog's name? Um, this is Speedy. I can see the suffering that the owner has gone through and the suffering that the owner was putting onto this puppy. This puppy was weak because of the human. Being homeless, obviously, is a struggle. How long has she been like that? He's been uh, drinking and won't eat nothing. There would be no choice for me to say, no, I'm not taking it, it's sick, no. Uh-uh, no, I'm taking it, and I'm taking the next one, and I'm taking the next one. I'll find out if he's gonna make it or not. I know I tried, and I don't want that little puppy to grow up with behavior problems or anything like that because it's not his choice. And my goal, after we evaluate his health and all that, my goal is to train and work with him with any behavioral training and the best part of his little life is to find him a forever home. We have our side of sanctuary dogs that will never be adopted out because of physical abuse from human life. We have dogs that have been burned by humans, beaten by humans, and taught to attack and kill other dogs. Bella is the people that the Zen Rescue rescued to help her rehabilitate. We got a call to see if we would take her in because nobody would take her in. She was cut up, open, completely left to die. Obviously, she was trained to dog fight and kill other dogs. Bella is now here at the sanctuary with us. She is going through behavioral training. Constant desensitizing her with dogs, um, little dogs, big dogs. I use muzzles and uh, I work leash work. My main focus with her, because she's an incredible, incredible loving animal, is just she needs to be desensitized from another dog. Most of the sanctuary dogs have bitten us, attacked us, and we know that for a fact, it's not them, it's not their fault. So we accept them as they come, and we just fulfill that little life's need in the moment. They become a part of our family. In my life, I took a lot, and then, suddenly, in a borrachera that I had, the next day, I was connected with a Con un animal, yo pienso, porque fue el, lo que me ayudó a no seguir tomando, ¿sí? Y para mí, los animales son mi vida, por lo tanto, me ayudaron mucho para dejar la tomada, ¿sí? O sea, yo me podía tomar un 24 diario, un litro de tequila y no paraba, ¿sí? Y los animales me ayudaron mucho a dejar eso. Me ayudaron porque realmente uno se siente apoyados por los animales porque realmente ellos no toman, no, ¿sí? no, no usan drogas, no usan alcohol. Animales que te ayudan por el amor, por el amor, amor puro amor que despiden. You know, human, judge, how could you have that job? How could you even like to work with the animals? They take all your time, you have no life. But little do they know that this is life. El venir diario a este rancho a trabajar, Es tan emocionado que yo no siento el tiempo. Soy feliz. Soy feliz. This, this is peace for me. This is what I've chosen for the rest of my life. It's my passion. There's nothing else that I want to do in the world. And the animals showed me it. No human could have showed me what I know. <laughs>